happening right this minute. Uh, we're touring together. Stranger things have happened. I remember when we started out, we were on the same little old Rinky Dink bus. We had six musicians on the bus. Our, our bass player, Pops. It wasn't even a bus, it was a Winnebago. Was it? Yeah. Well, Pops played the bass and drove the bus. And then. Oh, I'm talking about the very first. And Mike. Back in 1983. Mike was the road manager, collected the money, such as it was, and um, what, did, what did Mike do? <laughs> he just Whatever of, you told him. He tried, yeah, he tried <laughs> to run everything. He was the only person we had, but there were 16 pairs of sneakers, smelly sneakers. There was no plan. I, I never said no, because there's a higher power and I'm not it, and it just... There are three reasons I'm doing it, and uh, it just made sense for a lot of reasons. So don't have time to go into that, but I'm just telling you, when you feel that it's God, it kind of thing, I just knew it was time to answer the call, and here we are. And I didn't want to stay home and watch quiz shows anymore. I've now switched to true crime, but it was getting a little wonky. I don't know. I do. I know, I know what I'm going to do. First of all, I love my outfit. I did made it myself. And not this one. You're so gullible. Hi everyone, I welcome you back on here. As we're still mourning the loss of our beloved Naomi Jard. Naomi Jard has spoke about falling into a dark, absolutely terrifying hole. She actually said she considered death and underwent electroshock therapy to treat depression before her passing on at age 76. Her daughter says they lost their beautiful mother to mental illness. Judd, the Kentucky-born singer of the duo The Judds and Mother of Winon and Ashley Judd, died to the disease of mental illness, according to a statement from the social medias of the two girls. Naomi said... After the judges stopped touring, she didn't get off the couch for two years, falling into extreme and severe depression. She further said that fans see me in rhinestones, you know, with glitters in my hair. That really is who I am. But then I would come home and not leave the house for three weeks and not get out of my pajamas and not practice no more hygiene. It was really bad. The late singer also said, when I came off the tour, I went into this deep, dark, absolutely terrifying hole and I couldn't get out. She added, I spent two years on my couch. She said she even scouted out a bridge near her family's farm. To be honest, you guys, that's how bad it can get. It's hard to describe. You go down in this deep, dark hole of depression and you don't think there is another minute. Let's continue praying for the family of the judge in this tough time. Rest in Paul Queen.